The Falcons are the first of a number of RAF display teams performing at Biggin. Last year, the Chinook's performance was judged the best solo display and awarded the highly valued Breitling Trophy. It means that this year's team has a lot to live up to. The aircraft is from number 18 squadron based at Odium in Hampshire and was the first squadron to be equipped with the Chinook in 1981. The Chinook's display is every bit as dramatic and as exciting as last year's. Watching such a large helicopter perform so nimbly makes a huge impression on the large crowd. In fact, the display is good enough to ensure that the team retains its best solo display trophy. One of the show's themes is the development of the transport aircraft, and so it is fitting that the RAF has sent the latest version of the ubiquitous Hercules. This aircraft is the J version. It is from a special trials unit based at Lyman in Wiltshire. This is the first time that the Hercules has performed at Biggin for a number of years, and its ability to perform short landings and takeoffs shows why this aircraft has proved so successful in bringing supplies into remote and difficult landing strips. One of the Hercules' most dramatic manoeuvres is the KSAN approach. This manoeuvre dates back to 1968, during the Vietnam War. The United States Marines were completely surrounded by the North Vietnamese Army. The siege lasted for 77 days and the only way the Marines could be supplied was from the air. By flying at high altitude, the Hercules crew could avoid the worst of the ground fire. At the last moment, the pilot would push the stick forward and put this large aircraft in an almost vertical dive. Today, this manoeuvre looks as dramatic as ever. The Harrier has been a popular and regular display at Biggin Hill for many years. The spectacle of this remarkable aircraft hovering is always an airshow highlight. The transition from hover into climb uses every ounce of power on tap from the Harrier's Pegasus engine. But the Harrier is also fast jet something that the display pilot, Flight Lieutenant Pete Keeney's side, demonstrates during a sequence of fast passes and tight turning moves. Today's version of the type is the GR7, which is nearing the end of its service life and will be upgraded to the GR9. It means that future airshow visitors will be able to marvel at this aircraft's unique capabilities for years to come. <laughs>